Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, we're going to be looking into the Flux Research and the Fundamentals tab. So, the Flux Research is a prerequisite into getting Flux Cleanup. So, you're definitely going to want that at some point, which you'll see when we do the Flux Research. So, it says, let the Flux build. So, over the course of doing Thomcraft stuff, eventually the Flux will build up so much that bad things will happen. And no matter how much you try to prevent it, you really can't. So, um, if you just keep doing Thomcraft stuff, this will happen on its own. However, we're going to try to force it to happen by overflowing the Flux immediately. So, you can see that there is roughly 16 V, or sorry, Flux in this chunk right now. And I built this whole platform in the sky because I think the bad thing that's about to happen uh, will target the highest block in the chunk, so hopefully it will be far away from my base, even though it's, you know, right next door. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, remember when I said that leaving excess aspects in your crucible would allow it to build up flux, and you didn't want that. Well, uh, for this time right now, we're going to uh, do that on purpose. So we're going to jump all of these crafting tables in here, which should be a ton of aspects, 64 times 20, 64 times 9, whatever that is, so 640, and then, you know, twice that, so 1280. Almost 2,000 flux should be going in here. Ugh, let's see what happens. So, shift right click, end up it all in the atmosphere. And there we go, our flux is now 475. That is going to cause some very bad things. It seems there is too much flux in the local atmosphere. <laughs> That's an understatement. Complete. Okay, so he's not sure what's going to happen, but it says, note to self, do not let the flux build. It's very, very bad. So uh, what's going to happen is eventually, we. oh, there it is, right there. Huh. Oh, easy. So there is what's called a flux rift. It's what happens when the flux gets too much and it's going to drain the flux in the chunk, and when it drains enough, it's going to explode and give you bad things, like taint seeds and other bad effects. So we really don't want to be around here, and also it will break any blocks nearby. So you can see it's breaking some of my cobblestone. Anyway, I built this platform here because I don't care about that, so hopefully this will be contained up here uh, I'll come back and see when this has, you know, exploded. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, but we'll see what happens. And I'll show you some of the bad things that happen. It may spawn wisps or angry zombies or, you know, lots of other bad things can happen. Mostly, you just want to keep it away from your base because, like I said, this will destroy any block. So, it does look, though, it does look like, though, that building this platform up high was a good idea because this is where the flux thing spawned. So you can see the V or the flux is draining, but uh, still not very good. So I will come back when that has done something. I do want to show you one thing real quick. Uh, if you have your thermometer on, you will be able to see flux rift through the walls. So let me go into the house real quick. And you can see that little thing just through the walls like that. That's a little bit of flux ore that you can see. So if you're looking around your base and you see one of those, it's a bad event. Here's what some of the clusters look like when they're a little bit more grown. I don't remember how long, how much time has been passed. I just kind of left them there, but that's what it is. Okay, like I said, I will come back when this thing explodes, which... Uh, it shouldn't take too long because there is a lot of flux in this chunk. If it doesn't explode uh, pretty soon, we'll dump more stuff in there. Okay, there it goes. It just exploded, so let's go see what's up there. It might be nothing, it might be fine, or it might be some kind of monster. Let's see. So like nothing happened this time. The flux is still really high in this chunk though, so it is possible we will get another rift. But we'll see what happens. 
So oftentimes when the rift closes, it spawns a taint seed, which is a giant purple monster that is very hard to kill. So didn't happen this time. That's okay. But that's what happens when you let the flux build. And that is a and that is a prereq for getting flux cleanup, which we will start working on in the next episode. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.